Shalom to the hopeful elect. But as always, we give first and foremost, we give the praises and the glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Rakatha Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakar Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers in all sincerity, pushing his true gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. And as always, again, Shalawam to the hopeful elect, which are of men, women, and children. Amen, so be true. Though it tarry, wait for it. It shall come. It will come, you know. So, Lord willing, I would like to read four scriptures and the first two would be from the the Apocrypha and it reads here Second Ezra 7 verse 57 Then answered he me and said this is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight we all know this is a spiritual battle it's a spirit fighting with the flesh that if he be overcome he shall suffer as thou hast said but if he get the victory he shall receive the thing that I say when you're running a race although we know the race is not for the swift but when you're running a race you want to win when you go into a, a, a boxing ring to fight, you want to win. Our spirit is fighting against the flesh. We want the spirit to win. This is the victory. This is the battle that we have to face. Who goes into war? Have you heard of a soldier going into war and wants to lose the, the war? They go into the war to win. This is the condition of the battle. It's a spiritual war against the, the, the physical war. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. But if he gets the victory, we all want that victory. He shall receive the thing that I say. We all want that crown. We all want that prize. And that is the best prize that anyone can receive. The best prize. And it's only the elect are going to receive that prize. It's only the elect are going to receive the victory. So we're back in the Apocrypha, right? Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. This is the condition of the battle. Set thy heart, which is your mind, aright and constantly endure 
and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at the last end. So at the end of the war, you want to win that battle. You want to receive that victory. But in order to receive that victory, you have to. It's a must that you cleave unto Yahweh Bar Sham Yahushai. Set your mind aright. Constantly endure. But remember, we have to prepare our soul for that temptation. And that time is coming. This is coming at the last end. So we have to cleave unto Yahweh, Basham Yahushai. Is all is no other way through. There's no other way out. It's only through Yahweh Basham Yahushai. So we know, we know this, that we have to prepare our soul for that temptation. All right, this is the spirit. This is the, this is the the what I said again. The battle. This is the condition of the battle. So here we know. Revelations three verse ten, to eleven. Because thou hast kept the the word of my patience, that is the condition of the battle. Serve cleaving unto Yahweh Basham Yahushai, believing in, in our power and his son, trusting in our power and his son, being obedient to our power and his son. Endure. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Because we are long suffering, that is the condition of the battle to suffer. Whatever the Lord puts us through, we have to take it cheerfully. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. This is a condition of the battle. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Ooh, let me go back again. Listen. Second, Ezra 7. Then answered he me and said, this is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. We have to go through this. Revelations 3 verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, the battling, the, the whatever we go through, the Lord has put us through. Right? Because we are tempted all the way. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwelleth upon the earth. The Lord is only concerned about his people. He's only con con concerned about the saints. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. What is the crown? What is the crown? 
if the Lord is pleased with us and we endure to the end, you're going to receive a crown from the Lord. The Lord is going to officially tell you to say, Bow, my humble servant, I am well pleased with you. And it's going to, you're going to receive that crown. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. No man. We mustn't bow to no other system. We must not bow to anyone else except Yahweh Basham Yahushai. And that is the, 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 the condition of the battle. And we're going to be tested. We're we'll back in Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls if all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark to receive a karagma in their right hand. Right? And this is a physical mark, not a spiritual mark. This is a physical mark that you're going to receive. That if you received it, you'll be tormented in front, in the eyes of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, along with the holy angels. And he calls if all both, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, that had the karagma. Okay? So if you receive it of the Lord, you'll be put to death. Okay? So in order to buy and sell, this is why this is a physical mark, in order to eat food, you have to receive that mark, that karagma. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of him, of number of his name. Okay? So if you do not receive this mark, okay? If you do not bow down to the system, you're not going to eat. You're not going to drink. But if you receive that mark, all right, you'll have to answer to the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai. So this is the condition of the battle. Because that time is coming. Though it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come. It will come. And we here now, we are suffering. We know that this is coming. But we have to patiently wait for it. Patiently. This is the condition of the battle. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yes? And that part of trying is to, to, to put you through the suffering. Because they know they have a short time. They know that people want to eat. They know that people want to drink. So they're going to use all forms of crafty devices. They're going to force you. They're going to push you in a corner. 
to say, if you do not take this thing, you're not going to eat, you're not going to drink. But because we trust in the Lord our power and his son during that hour of temptation, because they're going to be tempted. We are all going to be tempted. Because we, we, we patiently wait for our Lord and trust in our Lord, put our strength in our Lord, He will keep you during that hour of temptation. This is the battle that we have to face. This is the condition that we have to, even Lord willing right now, we, we pray that we do not take that mark. We pray that we do not take that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. We pray. Because we're all going to be tested. We're all going to be tried. And that time is coming. Although it's tiring, it shall come. It's going to come. Yes, so going back to the beginning again, Lord willing, 2nd Ezra 7, verse 57. Then answered he me and said, This is the condition of the battle, which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. We have to fight through this process. We have to fight this spiritual process in this carnal flesh body that wants us to say, no, do this, do that. But the Spirit is telling us, no, you're not supposed to do it. This is the condition we have to fight daily because we know that time is coming. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer, as thou hast said. But, there's a big but though, big, big but. If he get the victory, but you have to be patient in order to receive that victory. He shall receive the thing that I say. Alright? Go up and pray. This is edifying to the spirit of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. And double honors to apostles of great millstone. And shalom to the hopeful elect, to you beloved brothers, to you beloved sisters, and to the beloved children. Shalom.